Hi, this is Emmett Lalish. I'm here to tell you about my latest 3D printed design. Um, this is a gyroid construction set. Um, so, you know, this is one module, and the first question you might ask is, what on earth is a gyroid? Um, a gyroid is a mathematical manifold um, that basically can fill all of space. It's, it's periodic, and so you, you commonly see a, a cube cut out of them that's sort of a single period of this repeating shape. Um, so you can stack these cubes together and they'll just sort of um, fill the world with this interesting curvy um, plane basically. It's just a, a, a two-dimensional shape that kind of splits things into halves. Like here you're looking at sort of the, the black half and the white half. And you know there's there's lots of 3D printed models based on gyroids but most of them are things you have to buy off Shapeways because uh, you need a powder printer to print them. Um, they're very difficult to print with a regular FDM printer. Um, you'd need support and the support would be impossible to remove and such. But um, I found, uh, actually with an earlier design, that if instead of cutting a cube out of the gyroid, you could cut a rhombic dodecahedron out. And there's a particular orientation in which you can print this where it doesn't really have any serious overhangs. Um, and the, the overhangs that there are are small enough that the printer can sort of get by printing them um, without support, even though it, you know, fudges the 45 degree rule a bit. Um, but the great thing about these modules is they still stack, because uh, rhombic dodecahedra are basically the shape you get from a cubic closest packing system, if uh, you've taken any crystallography or mineral mineralogy. And so, um, you know, things like garnets form these shapes. And so, in fact, instead of printing one, you can print many. Um, and, and here I've got five. And you can see how, with the sixth one, if you line them up so that they're all in the same orientation, then you can simply slot this one in here, and it, and it just sets perfectly in because it fits exactly with the rest of the shape. Um, so all of the sort of edges of this manifold are contiguous. And what's really interesting about gyroids is that they have these strange networks of holes through them um, in all kinds of different directions. And we can make use of those. So in this case, what I've designed are these little connectors, which are basically just little wiggly rods. And what's interesting about these holes is these holes are actually helical in nature. And so with this little wiggly rod, you can actually thread it in and then screw it into the gyroid. Um, li literally like, like a screw, like a very long threaded screw. It kind of uh, goes a long way forward just for turning a little bit. But what's neat about this is because it's a screw, it will actually serve to hold this together uh, really rigidly uh, once you get enough of them in. So you can just keep on threading more and more of these through here and they're passing from one module into the next and into the next and that's what gives you this adhesion. But more importantly than that, you know, we're only passing through one way here but you can also rotate it 90 degrees and start using these other holes and this gives you the true rigidity of basically cross-bracing the entire structure. Um, these things are kind of acting like rebar, uh, wood in concrete. And so you can see here, we can continue threading these through, and now we've got six modules tied together um, by a total of 12 connectors, and they're just incredibly well connected. I mean, these are just rigid and strong, um, and the best part about it is you can put as many of these modules together as you want. I mean, you can, this manifold just expands infinitely, and there's so many places to put connectors. I mean, you could make longer connectors, but you can also, since there's so many, they're redundant, you can just stagger them. You know, one connector can end, you know, you can put another connector in, you know, this other hole that I'm not even using here, and then use another connector um, to sort of butt up against the first one when you've built enough gyroids out there. Um, so it becomes sort of like a like a Lego construction set, um, except actually vastly stronger and stiffer, um, and you know a little more interesting to look at. I mean, you get all these crazy patterns of holes and such. Um, it's really kind of a fun fun little thing. So I've only managed to have time to print out these six so far, but I've noticed that you out in the worlds of the internet often print 
far more of my designs than I ever get a chance to, so I would love to see if somebody manages to print out a whole bunch of these and assemble something big and cool. Um, you know, post a photo. I'd love to see. Thanks.